Hey guys, Resurfing here. So it turns out Wave 3 of the uh, Mega Bloks Pokemon sets are now out. Uh, my mom got me two of them today. Uh, they're at least out at Target. I don't know if they're anywhere else. Uh, these ones all come in a Premier Ball, so they're easy to distinguish from the first two sets. The color is, uh, looks like purple, possibly pink, hard to tell. Uh, but the sets I got are Mimikyu and Poliwog. Uh, other sets are uh, Crib Roller, Fomantis, Spinarak, and uh, Grubbin. So uh, I'm going to open these up, and I think it's going to be fun to do an actual build video. So let's take a look. Once again, easy to get the ball out of the box. Just put the pull a bit. Uh, the tape could be an issue for me. Up uh, oh, there's... No, that's not the perforation. Where, Where is the perforation on you? There it is. Okay. A couple of areas that looked at the perforation but aren't. All right. Polywalk first. So a whole bunch of uh, blue pieces here. Uh, two bags. Uh, so you can see Polywog's uh, face and belly in there. And all the different joining together parts. <laughs> uh, where did I put... I... I'm going to be back in a second. I put something down that I need. <laughs> okay, I got what I need. I just need something reliable to open the bags. Alright. I found that the uh, polishing part of nail clippers works really well. Uh, all right, uh, I think that's all the parts that are in that bag. Hope it is. By the way, this is why I think Labo is going to do really well, because it's uh, it's just a building thing similar to this, and, and kids are going to love it. Uh, hell, I'm going to love it. Pre-ordered both sets today. Uh, Alright, here we go. Alrighty. Okay, so it looks like I take this piece first. Looks like there's a little double-sided stud piece. Yep, here it is. Okay. Put that down there. And what is that piece? Ah, I think... Yeah, okay. Alright, so this hinge piece attaches to the double-sided stud then. Uh, so like that, I believe. And then we put the... Uh, ball joint part on. Whoops. Maybe I should have done the ball joint part first. <laughs> Thankfully if this is anything like the others, once it's put together it's staying together. Uh, looks like make the feet next. So two of these little guys. Two of the uh, what I call handlebars, because that's what they look like to me. And then, uh, oh, this is a newer piece, I think. It's a double-sided stud piece with a hole in the bottom of it. And that goes like this. So, basically, I'm going to do that again. Oh wait, clever use of using the uh, ear pieces that were on other ones as uh, as the flipper legs for Polywog. And that just attaches into the sides there, fills out the gaps basically. Uh, 
I'm guessing the tail is going to be attached to that hinge then. Uh, so yeah, next up is we put Polywog's face on, and let's make sure I have this right side up. I mean, you can already tell it's Polywog. <laughs> Also, not sure what the one piece is for then. Maybe it's for attaching to the ball. So, yeah, put in the uh, C clip peg into the tail and just attach it to the hinge there. And we have our little polywog. It's not as flush as some of the other ones, but you know what? It looks like Polywog. I'm happy. Straight on. It's fine. It's when you want to see the tail, it looks a bit off. They'll probably need to create a new back piece for these at some point. All right, so we have the ball. Now let's see if I'm right, and that's just a piece to attach there. Yeah, it's just a white piece to be attached to make it easier for Polywog to stand on the ball then. Uh, I believe Meowth had a similar thing. And there's our Polywog. Look at it, it's so cute. I, 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 I love these things. They're fun to build, they look like the Pokemon. Sure, there's some weirdness like that part there, but you know what? It works. And Polywog is one that they can probably easily make the rest of the line with just these simple bits here. Uh, well, I guess Polytoad would be a bit more difficult, but for the most part, it, it would be the same things. So I'm going to be right back with Mimikyu. Okay, time to build Mimikyu. I've already poked holes in the bag to make it easier later on, but once again, two baggies. You can see uh, Mimikyu's face and uh, body there, or rather Mimikyu's costume face and actual... <laughs> head there. Uh, so let's take a look at which parts I need first. Alright, it looks like I need the uh, little cloth ends first, which I believe are toe pieces on uh, some of the other sets. I thought I put a hole in you. Maybe I did not. Thought I did. I did, you just don't want to open. Okay. I believe these pieces were used for the toes and uh, Machop's hair on other figures. Uh, I call it hair, but I actually don't know what it is. Uh... All right, so take two of them, put them together. I can already see how this will make the cloth, uh, the cloth bottom. So that's nice. Uh, looks like that's three separate pieces. Yeah, three separate pieces. All right. So it's a flat piece like this, used for the front, I believe. Yeah, it'll have to be the front, because that, that one part's definitely going to be the tail. A single side stud right behind it. Uh, so it looks like this, if you're depending on how you're looking at it. And then this piece, I believe, is where the tail will attach to. So there you go. And you take the little body with the actual eyes on it, it looks like. Once again, where I opened it does not want to open. I, I do not understand why, but that's what it is. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. Little body there. Whoops. That's purely on me, by the way. Uh, I didn't snap it in tight enough. That's my fault. Uh, so the little body piece there. You can already tell how it's going to become Mimikyu. I could also see them using these pieces to make Shroomish later down the line. Uh... Also, I have to say, I like that they're uh, splitting off from just doing the Gen 1s now. Uh, now we have some Gen 7 Pokemon and uh, one Gen 2 Pokemon. Because uh, this set seems definitely all Pokemon that could be caught in the Alola region. Okay, it's doing the head then, so the little round head backing part. Which... They probably would have used for uh, Poliwog, except it would have prevented the tail from working on Poliwog. Uh, let's see. Alright, so pretty much standard for the head building. If you've built Pikachu, it's the same. Same for uh, pretty obvious reasons. Alright, so straight goes on th this side. Straight is his right ear, bent is his left ear. And I put them in the wrong place. Oh, that's what it shows. What am I missing here? Oh, because I'm putting him on the wrong side first. <laughs> okay. So, straight is the left ear. I mean, straight is the right ear, bent is the left ear. So it should look like this. Then, you attach here. I did those steps backwards. I also missed a part there. I forgot to put the actual ball joint into the top here. So, uh, snap the head onto the ball joint. And because this is Mimikyu, let's have the head wall to the side a bit. And then the tail. So, yep, built exactly the same as Pikachu's tail. Where you just have the uh, clip and the pieces to attach there. I feel like there's a piece that should have been used that didn't get used. No, definitely not use at all. Okay. And uh, just clip it on in the back there. And we've got our little Mimikyu. It's very obviously Mimikyu, which is always nice. I think personally my favorite set so far. And that says a lot. Uh, so why is that piece of thing? Yeah, it's not useful for the Pokeball either. I have no idea why that piece exists. Unless it accidentally came... No, it's there. Okay, so there's an extra piece with Mimikyu. I'm not sure why. Uh, once again, we have the uh, Pokeball snapped together and a place to... Uh, Attach Mimikyu, uh, puts it in the back there, uh, so like this, and then attach here, and there's our little Mimikyu, uh, 
instructions actually show the head long the other way, but I personally like like it this way. So uh, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching this. I cannot wait to get more sets. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys.